Before we start, can you quickly tell me in five seconds what is the square root of 3364? I guess it was difficult for 99% of the audience watching this video, right? Therefore, today I will show you an awesome trick to calculate the square root of any number, which is a perfect square. And after completing this video, you should be able to calculate the square root quickly in your head. So, are you ready? You only need to do one thing. Just memorize squares of the numbers from 0 to 9 like this. I guess you already know it. Now look at the last digit of each of these squares. I have colored it differently, and when you look at those values, you will notice that some of the squares end up in the same last digit. Like 1 square and 9 square ends up in 1. 2 and 8 square end up in 4. 3 and 7 square end up in 9. 4 and 6 square end up in 6. Last digit of 0 and 5 square do not match with other numbers. So now let us look at an example. Suppose we want to calculate the square root of 1, 2, 2, 5. First thing we do is look at the last digit of this number. It's 5, right? And now look at the square here whose last digit ends up in 5. It's 5 itself. So write the digit 5 here. Now cross out the last two digits. Now we want a square which is just below or equal to 12. Look here. It's 9, which is 3 square. So we write 3 here, and it's done. 35 is the answer. Great. Now, let us level up our gear and find the square root of 7 to 9. Look at its last digit, which is 9. It either ends up in 3 square, which is 9, or 7 square, which is 49. So right here, 3 and 7. Now, as we did before, cross out the last two digits, and then we want a square which is just below or equal to 7. It is this 4, which is 2 square, so write 2 here. Hence, our answer will be either 23 or 27. To find the correct number, take this 2 here and multiply it by the next number after it, which is 3. So 2 times 3 will be 6. Finally, what we will do is compare this 6 with this number, which is 7. So if 7 is less than this 6, we choose the lesser number, which will be 3. And if it is greater than 6, then we choose the bigger number, or this 7. For this case, 7 is greater than 6, and hence we choose this 7. Therefore, our answer is 27. Awesome! We will now do a couple more of these examples so that you can become perfect in it. Let us choose 2916. Last digit is 6, so our answer either ends up in 4 square or 6 square. So right here, 4 and 6. Now you know the drill. Cancel last two digits and find a square which is just below or equal to 29. It's 25, which is 5 square. So write 5 here. So our answer is either 54 or 56. Now take this 5 and multiply it by the next number after it, which is 6 to get 30, since 29 is less than 30. Hence, we choose this lesser number, or 4. Therefore, our answer is 54. So far, so good. Let us shift our gear to 5 and find the square root of 1, 5, 8, 7, 6. Last digit will give us 4 or 6. Then cancel out the last two digits. Now, find a square which is just below or equal to 158, which is 144 or 12 square. Then 12 times 13 equals 156. 158 is greater than 156, and thus we choose 6. So the answer is 126. Amazing! Isn't this cool? Now, can you quickly tell me in 5 seconds what is the square root of 3364? If you enjoyed learning this quick mental math trick, consider becoming a member to support my work. Your support helps me create more content just like this. You can also show appreciation by giving a super thanks or simply liking and subscribing. Every bit of support means the world to me and helps this community grow.
So good.